locked in at the Cassiopeia. Let's see if he can get those massive petrifying gazes laid down to try to turn the tide of these fights. Interesting. So 1-3-1, the big star. Could maybe even make a visitation down towards this bottom side. Look for Soul, who's quite low. Only has the heal to rely on, but it's like, oh, okay. We'll find it. Cathian Surprise, not in range. Let's get a bit of damage down on the key. Solo kill on the bot lane. Missed it, unfortunately. But you put together what happened. Soul didn't use his heal. Usually very good. It's the definition of winning in many ways, when you can get away with the tier cull and have lane pressure. Yeah, definitely a bit different compared to the second game. But uh -oh. fine gaze down onto Mickey. He can't get out of that. Miasma locking him up. Flashes away, but the Twin Fang still finds him. And Edge comes up with a solo kill. Nicely done by him. Puts one on the board for Kongdu. Really nice layering of spells. Waited to use the Miasma, knowing that... Right, now Zep. That's true. Probably not too many. Uh -oh. oh boy, Soul though. Zoss coming down key. Taking up these turn shots. A big six Mystic shot's not connecting and he actually dies. 1v2 scenario. He comes up with a solo kill. Flash away here by Roach. Realm Warp coming through. We'll follow this one. The red carpet's laid out, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he'll still be able to get out of there. And uh, Shy just... Celebratory ultimate. Maybe fat fingering his ultimate. Sometimes you just want to be happy. <laughs> yeah, we got him! <laughs> he didn't lose any mana for it either. Takes the blast cone for a ride. Roach does not have the flash. Tries to slow him up with the electro harpoon, but he's going to get locked down. There's the maelstrom. And that's going to be a nice kill picked up. Goes over to the rise. 2 1 0 so far. Yeah, Cassiope didn't have the lane pushed in. Even though she got first turret and can rotate down, it doesn't relieve pressure from top lane. Wellmore can be there to back him up, but also a load of other players are possible given how long a lane it is. But for now, the axe is going to be centered around oh, top. Oh, Edge walking in. Gets a bit of fine gaze down on the Mighty Bear. Punch goes low. Jump board from Songyu takes him out with a Mystic Shot. Mm. Equalizer thrown down. Won't get a whole lot of anything done. Meanwhile. Yep, in the meantime, because that TP to the top from Roach. That's the tier one going down. Just free to keep pushing up, and very soon we'll take out that turret. Now, Shai. Feel confident to go, enough to go ahead and push it for this Gromp. Does get smited away by Punt. The rest of the team is wrapping around. He's going to flash out. And he comes in. Realm Warp plus flash equals Deadly Sin. Yeah, Punch can't be there. That's the part where Rocks have priority. They didn't do this in the top lane when they had priority, but now they've moved it to bot finally. They play around the strong split pusher. Yeah, back. So that's going to be all of the outers falling in favor of Rocks. Let's keep the pressure game on as up. Oh, oh maybe Mighty not. Bear walking in. Miasma throwing down key. Might be the first one to fall, but has the shield to keep him alive. Now Mighty Bear trying to get a kill in on edge. Won't find it. Flash away from the true shot barrage. Will keep him safe. The pickoff comes through. There's really nothing that Kongdu can follow up on. Not in a position to go. Any idea that this is going on right now? So much damage. Oh here. boy. Yep. We go ahead. They take this out. The moment of truth comes here for Kongdu Monster, realizing that that Baron. Has been taken away. Damage won't finish him off. But he's going to have to go back to the fountain. He's going to open up rocks to go ahead and push down this tier 2 turret. Let's see if they can get it. Punch goes in for the kick. Kick song in the wrong way and gets taken down. Mighty Bear finding the kill. Edge does force Mighty back. But can't come up with anything yet. Petrifying Gaze catches Key and Shy. Can they follow up on this? It's going to be the question. Redemption. Not finding anything. Realm Warp thrown out by Mickey. Just trying to threaten them away from the turret. Won't be working yet. Stick around. Overload almost kills Is Roach. Minions? Oh, shield comes back oh, up. Oh, but the poison takes him out. Messy fight overall. Somehow, Kondu Monster it's actually come up one. ahead. That's very surprising to see. The redemption that that item was completed was big. As okay, Let's stop the recall from Kondu Monster. It felt like Rocks overstayed in many ways. They could have disengaged much oh, further dear. earlier. Speaking about overstaying, Edge in the mid lane. Flashes away, but Shy pursues in with his own flash and takes him out. A lot of life still. Actually has a second uh, Vampiric Scepter on top of the Blade. They so just keep pushing forward. And nothing Kongdu can do. Too far behind. Redemption. Oh! And the Vine Gaze comes through. Big kick. Knocks up three members. Songyu taking up these turret shots will go down. They find two kills. Dude desperately holding on inside the base. Bad. They're in the face of the enemy, but if they just wait, they will lose anyway. They have a ton of damage to try to burn through this very quickly. Gonna be not coming down to redemption, but it's still stolen away by Mighty Bear. Takes that one out. Mickey on the back side of the pit does so much damage to the members of Kongdu Monster. They just get swept through. Soul 
The Cathy and Supplies can't do a damn thing, and now it's just Roach all on his lonesome inside the base. One Nexus turret already taken out, likely to lose his life here. If Shy could just lock him up, he will make it back to the fountain, but now Life's Baron Empowered minions are here. The Super Creep's gonna be knocking down uh, into the base, and this should just be the end of the game. Equalizer thrown out to try to buy some time. Pop Sazonia's still gonna die more than likely inside. The hey! Fountain. Nope! All right. Well, he makes it out, but the Nexus can't say the same. It will go down, and Rocks will, in fact, take us to a game number three. Yeah, well played by the Rocks Tigers, okay? They were a bit slow at setting up around their cannon, but the moment they did, when they moved him from...